hello guys welcome back to my channel today we will be discussing about the url preview that you have seen on many app like teams facebook and linkedin and i will be showing the step by step how you can integrate url preview in your website and android and ios application let's see कि यू आर एल प्रिव्यू होता क्या है और आपको दिखता कहाँ पर और कैसे दिखता है तो उसके लिए हम सबसे पहले फेसबुक डॉट कॉम पर लॉग इन करेंगे एंड लेट मी डायरेक्ट टू दी जम्प इन टू फेसबुक एम हियर आई एम ऑलरेडी लॉग इन फॉर यू एंड अगर मैं कोई यू आर एल यहाँ पर मैं टाइप करता हूँ एंड यू आर एल शुड बी करेक्ट ओके लाइक गूगल डॉट कॉम यस सो दिस इज द यू आर एल and this is called preview so overall scenario is called url preview isme hota kya hai ki jo aapne url type kiya hua hai ye usko uska yahan pe title description aur images dikhta hai agar main yahan pe koi aur bhi url dalunga to mere ko yahan pe uska title aayega uska image agar hoga to image aayega uska description show karega to ye cheez aap apni application mein kaise add kar sakte hain wo main aapko batane ja raha hu सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आपको डेवलपर्स डॉट फेसबुक डॉट कॉम पर लॉग इन करना है उसके लिए आपको कुछ अथेंटिकेशन करने पड़ेंगे आपको पासवर्ड डालना पड़ेगा वापस से टू एक्सेस दिस प्लेटफॉर्म डेवलपर्स प्लेटफॉर्म एंड फर्स्ट स्टेप वुड बी क्रिएट एंड न्यू ऐप लेट्स क्लिक ऑन हियर क्रिएट ऐप क्लिक हियर समथिंग एल्स because all these are the categorized for different 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 uh, different different purpose and then we know what things we are going to do it continue here you have to put your app name like i will put here link preview okay and this will be your email address through which you have logged in on the facebook platform i will click on create app then it it will ask me to clear the security check and that is captcha i am not robot it will show me some images and that i have to verify here okay yeah traffic signal this is not traffic signal i think uh, yeah this one is okay let's go yeah here we go um, clear the security checks click on submit it will create one app with the name link preview and it will create one unique id and uh, the unique id here yeah this is the unique id right so after creating the application you can also delete this app i will show you the option from where you can delete the app now go to the tools option and click here graph api explorer what interface will be open from where you can see the functionality you can generate the new access token yeah it will generate the access token and it will refresh yeah it is refreshing yeah okay so this is the url uh, i'll tell you what type of url is this and what parameter this url is accepting first of all this is a post type so you need to click here post and this will be the url for which url you would like to have the title description and images right and copy the access token from here and paste it paste again the parameter access token so click it here submit it will fetch all the details this one title description updated time okay so you you just need to change this url and the access token so lifetime of the access this access token is a short lived and which will be uh, lived for 1 hour up to 1 hour after that it will be expire you need to generate the fresh one if i click here get code so there will be a lots of sdks available android ios javascript php c url so i will show you the snippet of code 
how you can integrate in any front end of application or any type of application so you have seen how this function is working here and let me show you how you can integrate on your platform this is a simple javascript code uh, the post type and this is the facebook url right and this will be the uh, url like uh, google.com or uh, stack overflow c sharp corner facebook linkedin any xyz.com but that should be genuine that should be genuine and published and access token that you will that you can get it from here right and paste it over here there are lots of there is api as well that you can generate the access token through your code and use it later in this method but for testing purpose i'm telling you that this is a shortcut and the response in response you will get this title description and images and let me very let me tell you the images will be the array of images it could be the array of images it could not be array of images and there will there will not be images as well so you need to check and okay yeah so in this way you can uh, implement in your code through this simple code right now if you would like to like uh, increase the life of this token there is one way which is called long lived token and to generate this long lived token you need this short lived token plus your app id and the app secret i will let you know from where you will get these parameters and this is the api url through this you can generate this long lived and it will be valid for 60 days after 60 days this will also be expired and if i copy it from here and paste if you paste it here let me <laughs> remove this unnecessary spaces you can do it paste it any any of the word uh, word or notepad and then you remove your right remove these spaces it's a get type see this is get type so you need to change the http request type yeah so for this you you need this access token right so i will be uh, telling you the way okay yeah just copy it from here and paste it over here access token and the app id initially let okay let me show you go to the app yeah, it's loading over is loading here let me go to the home page from home page i will i will go to my app dashboard from where i will get the app id and secret my this is this is my app so link preview it will redirect to to my dashboard so this app id you just copy it from here the app id okay and paste over this tag app id and now you need app hyphen secret so go to setting yeah basic click basic from there you will get this app id app secret yeah this is app secret it will ask me to put the password so that is also the good way to product so i need uh, i will enter my password and uh, it will show me the app secret just copy it and paste it over here click on submit button it will generate this access token one kind of access token over here and that access token you can use later to generate the preview against any url and that access token will be valid for 60 days so yeah in this way you can you can you can integrate uh, in your application any kind of front end application and you can delete it uh, delete this app go to the advance 
go to the advanced and scroll down yeah remove app just remove it from there or or on the on the main page you will you can delete from there as well so thank you thank you for watching this video please do like share and subscribe as well thank you so much